Hi guys, I'm EVM and welcome back to the channel. Now it's back to basics on this video, partly due to an imploding memory card destroying my previous videos that I can't now upload. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm doing a bit of a rush job on this one. But for some reason, it, it is something that I have been inundated with over the last couple of months. I don't know why all of a sudden it's ballooned in terms of how many people are asking me this specific question, question but it has. So I thought, let's do a video about it. And then uh, I can point people to that rather than answer each one individually. It's effectively, how does all this kilowatts, kilowatt hours uh, work in EV terms? How do I figure out how much I'm going to be paying to fill up my electric car? Is it that times that? Uh, what's the difference between kilowatts and kilowatt hours? Uh, why is the battery a kilowatt hours? Why is... All that sort of stuff, basically. So that's all I'm explaining this one. It's quite a straightforward one. But given the amount of people asking me this question, it's clearly something people need or want to know to aid them buying an EV. At least that's the plan anyway. So strap yourselves in in what will turn out to be, I'm sure, a thrilling video, an exciting video, and ultimately one that's born out of uh, desperation because I need to get one uploaded by Friday. <laughs> Right, let's start with the very basics. 1,000 watts, so that's 1,000 watts, is basically one kilowatt. Just like 1,000 grams is a kilogram. That's really simple, and I think most people know that one. But what about kilowatt hours? If I wrote down one kilowatt, oopsie, one kilowatt hours, what is that? What's the difference between one kilowatt hours and one kilowatts? Well, that is a measurement of power, and that is a measurement of energy. So in EV terms, if you have a charger installed at home, which is usually called the fast charger, that often, or more often than not, will be a seven kilowatt charger. Because that is how much power that charger, well, technically not a charger, but we're not being too anal here. That's how much that charger can put into the electric car. So what if you have a car that has a battery size of, well, let's make it small, 28 kilowatt hours. So 28, oopsie, kilowatt hours. That's how much power the charger can supply. That's how much power the battery can hold. So if I plug that charger into that battery, then seven times four equals seven, 14, 21, 28, there we go. So a seven kilowatt charger running for four hours would give me 28 kilowatt hours of energy. It would basically fill the battery up. So it would take something running at a constant seven kilowatts, which obviously is, you know, it's theoretical here on a charger, four hours from zero to full. Now let's imagine you get on a rapid charger. Now I'm gonna pick a figure just to make it easy in terms of maths, but let's imagine you get a 60 kilowatt charger now. Uh, so 60 kilowatts, that will give you, capital W there, that will give you basically one kilowatt hours of energy per minute. So if you do plug into a 60 kilowatt charger and it will theoretically run at 60 the entire time, which realistically doesn't happen, but let's not get too anal, like I say, then it will take 28 minutes to give you 28 kilowatt hours of energy because you will get one per minute and it's a 28 kilowatt hour battery. Let me rub that out and do it a little bit differently now with real world examples. I have a Tesla Model 3. Tesla I'm going to say M3, which will annoy the BMW people, but you know, it's just easier to write. Uh, I also have a seven kilowatt charger in my garage. So I plug a seven kilowatt charger into my Tesla, which has a 50 kilowatt hour battery. Okay. Let's imagine my Tesla is half full, 50% charge. That means that I have roughly speaking anyway, because it doesn't always work out like this in EV terms. But anyway, let's imagine I've got 25 kilowatt hour batteries, battery, um, which is 50%, and I plug it into my home charger, which usually runs at a maximum of seven kilowatts. I'm rounding figures up to make them easy now before 
Anybody mentions it, that means if I plugged my car in for an exactly one hour, I would end up with 32 kilowatt hours in my car. If I plugged it in for another hour, I'd end up with 39 and so forth. So that's basically what we mean when we go on about chargers, kilowatt hours, kilowatts. The faster the charger, the higher the kilowatt rating will be. The bigger the battery, the higher the kilowatt hour rating will be. There you go. Simple as that. Hmm. But what about in terms of how much it's going to cost you on your tariff at home? Now, again, I'm going to use easy figures. Let's imagine you're on a 10 pence per kilowatt hour tariff. So you basically pay 10p for every kilowatt hour you use on your home tariff. So if you plugged your car in, then a seven kilowatt charger over one hour would cost you 70p. It's literally as straightforward as that. If I somehow miraculously arrived home with a completely 0% flat battery and then charged it up to 50 kilowatt hours, assuming no losses, so again, I'm, I'm really making this simple now, then it would literally be a case of 10 pence times 50 kilowatt hours. So 10 times 50, which is five pounds. It would cost me at 10 pence per kilowatt hour, five pounds, to fill up my Model 3. It is literally as straightforward as that. So if you get on a tariff that has a rate of five pence at night and 10 pence during the day, then you could literally half the cost of filling your car. It would only cost two pound 50 because you're only paying five P instead of 10. This is where a time of use tariff can be very important at making your EV run very cheaply. I've been on one for years and it saved me an absolute fortune. Let me now rub that out once more. And we'll just very, very briefly go over a specific example again, just so you all know what's going on. If I have a Nissan Leaf with a, I don't know, a 30. Remember, it's small K, large W, small H. If you don't get that the right way around, then anal people will really be annoyed which is why sometimes I deliberately write it wrong. Hi, Jason, if you're watching. So, home charger runs at seven. Remember, kilowatts, small k, big W. If I plugged that charger into that car, then again, theoretically, if there were no losses, etc., etc., that would be seven times, let's say four hours. So seven times four is quite straightforward. That's 28. So that would mean that in four hours, I would get 28 kilowatt hours of energy into that car, almost fill it up pretty much. And that would cost me because I pay, well, let's say 10 pence per kilowatt hour again, 28 times 10 pence, which of course is doo -doo -doo -doo, two pounds 80. So if you were on a rapid charger that runs at two, I don't know, let's, Take this out, Let's take that out, and that out. Now on a rapid charger, the maximum you'll get into a 30 kilowatt hour leaf anyway is 50 kilowatts. But you will almost never attain that, but just for the sake of my argument, let's imagine you go straight to 50 kilowatts and stays like that the whole time. Then that would be 50 kilowatts. Obviously only a 30 kilowatt hour battery, it's not gonna take that long to fill it up, which is why they're called rapid chargers and not fast ones. So we don't want to do that over four hours, do we? We we'll just plug it in for, well, half an hour. So that would be, well, 0.5, which equals 25 kilowatts hours of energy. So we will end up with 25 kilowatt hours of energy in 30 minutes rather than four hours. Obviously you wouldn't be charging that at home, but if you did theoretically do it at 10 pence per kilowatt hour, it would obviously be 25 times 10, and that equals two pounds 50. Now most rapid chargers charge 30, maybe 35 pence. So obviously that wouldn't be 10 pence. It would be 35, and that would not be two pound 50. Of course, it would be more expensive than that. That would be eight pound 75p. 
So clearly a lot more expensive to use a rapid charger than your home charger if you're lucky enough to be able to charge at home anyway. Um, so that's effectively how we do things in EV world. Very exciting, isn't it? Um, it's, uh, it, it, it is really as straightforward as that. I hope that helps enough people to make this uh, video justified and I, I'm pretty sure this will be one that doesn't get a lot of views if I'm honest, but as I said, due to a massive uh, annoying balls up with the memory cards, well not balls up, they destroyed itself, it just stopped working. I've lost two complete videos I now have to refilm, but considering today is Thursday and tomorrow the video goes up, needs must. So apologies that this is uh, not our, well I'm going to say my usual brilliant video, but they're all kind of like this, I guess. Yeah, anyway, well, normal service will be resumed. Outside on my drive right now is a Peugeot E208 that's just been dropped off. So look out for that. I'm probably thinking next Friday. Um, so that's uh, at least something to look forward to there. And hopefully, assuming there's no pandemic changes or Mr. Johnson doesn't change his mind again, there will be a uh, pull start on the way and maybe even a, um, <clears throat> a Porsche as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... If you do have any questions in related to uh, EVs or electricity or tariffs or anything, even if it's you know very basic, even if you think, well, I don't want to sound you know, a little bit thick here, but how does this work? Just ask them. That's what I'm here for. I might not be able to get back to you straight away. I do have a life, funnily enough, outside of YouTube. Uh, and the literally doing the end of this video and the memory card was full. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you, there's going to be an earthquake or something. It's like the, the, the world just does not want me to get a video out this week. And maybe I should just ignore it and leave it and forget YouTube. But then the YouTube algorithm will punish me for not uploading a regular video. Oh, God, it's been one of those weeks. It really has. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching if you still are. Um, I won't blame you if you're not. But um, normal service will be resumed, as I said, next week with the E208. So fingers crossed, all will go well and uh, nothing happens to destroy the memory cards on that one but clearly a lesson there in backing things up for me so thank you for watching again see you soon